Mike Rivero popping in for 10, 15 minutes from whatreallyhappened.com. I want to get you on on a host of issues, but first off, what do you know about Cynthia McKinney? I heard you saying you were going to have her on last week. I didn't hear if she was there or not, but uh, it's coming in here that Israel attacks justice boat, kidnaps human rights workers. Israel attacks her boat. Uh, this is uh, coming out, being released by one of the aid organizations she's with. Today, Israeli occupation forces attacked and bombarded free Gaza movement boat, the spirit of humanity, abducting 21 human rights workers in 11 countries, including Nobel laureate Marid Marguerite and former U.S. Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney. The passengers of the crew are being forcibly dragged towards Israel. This is an outrageous violation of international law against us. Our boat was not in Israeli waters, and we were on a human rights mission to Gaza. Mike, why does Israel keep doing this? This is bad PR to ram the boat a few weeks ago and almost sink it, and then now to do this, and they're in international waters. I'm surprised they don't just pull a USS Liberty and torpedo it and then say the Easter Bunny did it. Yeah, it is a serious situation here. Uh, they were in international waters. Uh, they're actually in a port in Israel now. The ship has basically been hijacked by the Israeli Navy and uh, the people uh, basically taken into custody, including six journalists and Cynthia McKinney and the aid workers. What makes this extremely serious is that, as you say, the initial contact between the Israeli Navy and the aid book, uh, boat took place in international water. And the Israeli Navy was actively jamming their navigation system Systems, their GPS, their radar. Uh, it was very difficult to get any messages out because of all the jamming. They were reduced to trying to find where they were with a sextant and a compass. And uh, it was just a very, very difficult situation. It was in the middle of the night uh, when this, th this happened. And, of course, the big situation here is the corporate media, which made such a big stink about the arrest of the staffers at the British Embassy in Tehran, and they were claiming it was a new hostage crisis. They're staying silent about this. The same media that was screaming about the Somali pirates hijacking ships in Somali territorial waters, this hijacking in international waters involving a humanitarian aid ship so far is not being mentioned at all on the American corporate media that I have found yet. In fact, uh, it's really pretty much confined to the to the alternative media, your radio show, and our websites are the only ones actively working to get this story out. Well, how do we know they were in international waters? I mean, I believe it. Uh, Israel is extremely bold. But, uh, A, how do we confirm this? And then, B, I guess that's why the mainstream media should be reporting on this. The U.S. Embassy should be making a big deal out of this. I mean, even if Israelis are, quote, the ally of the United States, this would be an incident if the British government came out in international waters and rammed and almost sunk a ship, and then the next time it came by, went and grabbed it and is towing it in to, I guess, disappear. I mean, what comes next if our media won't talk about it? Will they line Cynthia McKinney and the Nobel laureate up and shoot them in the back of the head? I mean, that's what happened with the USS Liberty. Well, the situation here is definitely, it's a tremendous diplomatic crisis here, and the U.S. can basically stand back and try and pretend it's no big deal, but the reality is that this boat was carrying the very sort of materials that Barack Obama had just requested Israel start to allow into Gaza, mostly bags of cement, things like that, construction materials. And so what Israel has basically done is thumb its nose at Barack Obama pretty much on the same day the Congress just put through some new loan guarantees for Israel to go on building settlements in the illegal occupied territories of, of Palestine. And so it is amazing. Israel is basically uh, uh, on top of simply this act of piracy on the high seas and this violation of international law. Israel is literally almost, it seems like, daring the United States to try and do something or at least trying to show that the U.S. can't do anything, that the U.S. is going to be forced to go on spending money in Israel, and Israel is just going to do what it wants, whether it's building more settlements or seizing ships with former congresswomen on them. Uh, Israel is completely out of control here, and they're basically... But, I mean, the to move the to make would be just let her bring the medicine and some men in, and then it wouldn't be a big PR coup for Cynthia McKinney and the Free Gaza groups. I mean, it, 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 I guess just Israel just does not care. Yeah, Israel doesn't care. Uh, they, they're convinced that if they spend enough money and if they control enough media, that their world image can be repaired. I mean, after the, the, the disaster of Operation Cast Lead, 
they're spending millions of dollars to run ads. Believe it or not, they're even running ads on my radio show here on GCN. And it's it's astounding the arrogance that's on display here. Uh, because you're right, the world is seeing Israel is literally trying to enforce mass starvation on the people of Gaza. Hold they're on just a minute. Well, uh, hold on just a minute, Mike. Who's running ads on your show? Believe it or not, the Israeli Tourism Authority is running ads on my show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what that is. That's that's uh, USA Radio Network News. Yeah, uh, that the that yeah the, the, they're not running ads on Genesis. That's uh, that's uh, news that stations request, and about the only news out there is Fox, ABC, and USA Radio News. Yeah, I've I've heard those ads. Uh, man, that is just incredible, uh, Mike. Uh, well, I mean, it's just a disaster. And do we know what's going to happen to Cynthia McKinney, or, or are they going to waterboard her or let her go, or, or will the media even care? Well, the media obviously is not caring. They're still all caught up with Michael Jackson, and I've, I've been around the TV channels this morning searching for any indication that this is even showing up on the radar of the corporate media, and so far I haven't found it. Uh, it's all distraction out there in the uh, in the corporate media. As far as what is going to happen, Haaretz has actually confirmed that the Israeli Navy did seize the ship. So it's no longer just a case of rumor and it's, oh, just the free Gaza people making spurious claims. Haaretz has confirmed that this has, in fact, happened. The ship is in port. Uh, the crew and passengers are in custody right now. What happens next is Israel's going to make a big stink about uh, violations of their national sovereignty, forgetting, of course, that Gaza is occupied territory and technically, uh, you know, Israel doesn't have a say what goes on in Gaza's waters. Of course, we know that's definitely not what's going on. Is Israeli forces routinely uh, shoot up Palestinian fishing boats. Uh, because Israel wants to harvest those waters. And again, this is all about forced starvation. The Israelis are literally trying to starve the Gazans into giving up and leaving because they Israel covets that land. Well, you know, Israel's argument on record is that we took the land over here from the Native Americans, so what's wrong with them taking some of that land? And then they say, hey, you had no claim to the American Indians. Our ancestors had some claim to this. It's just incredible tribal warfare. It, it never seems to end.